Hey, how's it going? This is Eduard Stinga, founder of Videoplasty. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my top five favorite places online to get free stock photos. If you're making a video, a school project, a website, or even a commercial project, you can find some amazing free photos on these websites. Now, everyone loves free stuff, especially if it's high quality. But I wanna point out that if your project has a budget and you can afford it, it's always nice to pay for the photos you use and support the authors. Taking a great photo takes a lot of time. Professional cameras are very expensive and most importantly, photographers have to eat as well. So if you can, that's absolutely nice and you get bonus karma points. But if not, then at least giving attribution is the right thing to do, even if the license doesn't require it. Talking about licenses, be sure to check the license page for each website in particular to understand exactly what you can and cannot do. The following websites either have what is called a Creative Commons Zero license, also known as CC0, which pretty much means those images are part of the public domain and you can do whatever you want with them. Or some sort of different Creative Commons license, which might require that you provide attribution and give credit to the original authors. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. Pixabay is probably the most popular website out there for free assets and it has almost 2 million stock photos and stock videos that you can use. Being a community-driven website where anyone can upload pretty much anything, sometimes the quality is not that amazing. The photos are free though, so you can't really complain. But if you look hard enough, you'll find some golden gems there for sure. What I prefer doing to find only the top quality photos on the website is whenever I search for a particular topic, I use the filter options and change it from popular to editor's choice, which will show you a curated list of some of the most amazing photos you've seen. The next one on the list is called Pexels and is one that I started using quite recently actually and I absolutely love it. The photo quality is super high and here you will find some of the best possible free stock photos out there. I also like their filter where you can search images by orientation to find a perfect one for the medium that you're using. By size, but let's be honest, the larger the resolution the better. Or a really cool feature is to filter the images by color to find photos that match the color palette of your project or find multiple matching images that you can use together. Next on the list is Flickr Commons, which is a bit of a different one that I want to show you because depending on your project, you might actually find some really useful images here. Keep in mind, you can't really use images directly from Flickr, as that's not the purpose of the website. But the ones from Flickr Commons are okay to use as they are part of the public domain. To get to the Commons, go on the top menu where it says Explore and click on the Commons. In my experience, when searching for various topics here, you will usually find a lot of vintage looking photos which are super cool. And it kind of makes sense as most images here in the Commons are part of the public domain and come from various archival sources. The next website to have a look at is none other than Google Images. To get there, just search for any topic on Google and then go to Images. Now, you might be tempted to think any of those images are free and safe to use, but that's not the case and you might get in trouble if you do so. However, if you go to Tools, you can filter the images by usage rights, then select Labeled for Reuse, and you will find images from all over the internet. I saved my favorite one for last, which is Unsplash.com. I'm amazed at how incredible this website is, and if I ever need free stock images for my project, this is my go-to place. What I love about it is that all those images are curated by Unsplash. So only the absolute best make it on the website, which means I don't have to spend time and filter low quality images as all images here are great. If you're a fan of photography and need some metadata as well, 
you can see what camera and lens the photo was taken with and what settings were used. The photos here are so good that if you're ever looking for new wallpapers, for example, this is the place to go to. That's all for my top 5 sources of free stock photos. As a bonus one, I want to show you a bit of a different option which you might find useful for some of your creative projects. I want to show you Videoplasty.com, the first of its kind, being the only website anywhere online that offers royalty-free stock animation and stock animated GIFs, which you won't find anywhere else on the internet. Full disclosure, I own Videoplasty and most of the stock assets are not free. We have a ton of cool character animations, icon animations and much more, so be sure to check it out as you might find it useful. That's all for this video. This was Eduard Stunga from Videoplasty and I'll see you in the next one.